In this video, we're going to show you some winch enhancements, accoutrements, accessories. If you have the genuine Land Rover winch fitted on the front of your Land Rover Defender. So there's some problems I've come across and these products that we're launching today are all results of problems I've had firsthand using the winch, off-roading, etc. Now, we fitted this winch. Land Rover kindly gave it to me. They were friends with me back then, weren't they, Zach? They've ignored me since. But we did some cool stuff when we first got our Defender and they gave me the winch, which was very kind. Thank you, Land Rover. Um, but one problem was the this front bit is all soft, friendly, impact friendly, pedestrian friendly. And they fitted it with a, you won't believe this, I was off-roading. We went to see the guys at 4x4 off-road in Bristol. Um, we've got to go to their new quarry. They've got a new quarry. Um, and I was driving and someone said, mate, the front's coming off your car. And this, this was doing all this because from factory, um, it is only held on with Velcro. So what I did first of all was I put a riv nut in here and I had a little plastic nailed nut that would go in there. And that was great and that stopped that wobbling about. But then when we went off-road in another time, um, David said to me, he said, look, you really want that winch accessible. You want the winch hook accessible. So we have got a winch mount we're going to do. And we actually use that same fixing idea there. So the winch hook mounts and it stops this flopping about and it gives you somewhere to mount your hook when you're off-roading. Kate wants to speak to me. Hold on. Sorry about that. Just some spam call. I'll put it on TikTok. Take a look. It was weird. Right. Um, choo -choo. So when we were off-roading with David up north, he said, Simon, you know, we're going to go through some pretty deep water and stuff. And if you need to winch me out or I need to winch you out, it would be good if the winch was accessible. Can you make some sort of device to get it? Because otherwise you've got to come down here, take your number plate cover off and you're in the rain and you, and you get your fine trousers dirty. And so I thought that's a good idea. If you're off-roading, you want it accessible. Um, and they give you this massive hook. Someone's written to me actually on the last vlog and said, there was another system um, with a rope where you get rid of this and you have a rope hook thing and it straps over the, the, um, the feed here. But that's not really applicable for the Defender. And the problem with that idea, neat and cool as it was, I'll put a picture of it on the screen now, um, was it was still down here. I like the idea of, I'm old and my back's bad. I like the idea of, of having this up here ready. So we are going to show you a mount. The second problem we've had with the winch is one time it wouldn't work. It's like we were just checking it before we went away. And it lost its pairing and it's got its knickers in a twist, basically. And basically you have to do the classic IT fix of turn it on and off again. So it's a Bluetooth controlled winch. Now, obviously the winch is made by Warn and they foresaw this problem and they gave you a little reset button. But the reset button is round the back of the winch which is madness. Now, we did do a video. You can disconnect the fuse um, and disconnect the power to it and do it that way. But that's quite a kerfuffle if you're out and about. And it would be much easier if you just could just press. Because remember, when you need to do this, probably you're in a bit of a pickle or someone else is in a pickle. So, right. So we have developed a... You have to cut out the grill here to get to the access panel. But we've made a quick release panel. So in this video, we are going to show you how to fit the thing we release and how to get to the thing and these are the parts oh gosh look at got it velcro imagine right so this is the this is the grill this is a steel grill and it's held in with these clips red or black um let's do this one first shall we zach both of these products will require an element of cutting the grill bit you have to cut a little hole in your old grill and the you need to drill the riv nut on the other one. So right, let's get, let's, so hence we have a load of nasty tools. Right then, what should we do? So we're gonna do this first. So let's talk about this. So this is gonna go, the reset button is at the back of the winch behind here. Um, so we need to put this panel in here. Now, you've obviously got a cut, but you need to leave four corners. So we've made this little template so we can position this template. Oh gosh, that's a bit thin on those edges, but we can't, there's not a lot of choice we've got there, is there? Zach, let me grab a pen. So we've got the famous orange pen. Now we are, where are we gonna go, Zach? I've got to, I've got to look where it's low in here. 
Yeah, I'm going to go. I'm going to leave a couple at the edge, and then I'm going to go there. Now we could pass me a couple of the red clips, Zach. I'll clip it in position. So these are the clips that are going to hold our our grill in position. I can use that to hold the template in position. All right, and then I'm just going to because otherwise you'll be cutting and you'll cut the wrong bits, and then you're going to be in in a world of pain. So hopefully. My orange pen is going to show me the ones I need to cut. Okay, and then down there, down there, down there. Right, yeah, that other pen was dead. We got a much better pen there. Right, so hopefully that is going to give us. There we go. So we can see the. The ones that I miss, I missed one there, didn't I? Because um, there should be three down there. So I've got a cut there. Now, we want to try and cut as close to this square. So this, this grill is steel. Now, let's have a look at our cutting choices. We've got, what? Well, we have got a Dremel. We'll have a look at that. We have got a hacksaw with a little bit of tape around it. And we have got the angle grinder. Let's have a look how easy it is because this is going to be the best thing really in it we're not going to have sparks flying everywhere now let's have a look what have we got behind here because we've got limited amount of stroke behind here but let's have a go at um that's going I wonder if it'd be easier just to take this all off, but I think the problem is the camera's mounted in it and the parking sensor's mounted in it. It's all a bit of a pain. So there's one option. I ain't got the patience for that. Right, the other option is we've got the Dremel with a cutting disc on it. Oh, he doesn't look the best. Um, let's have a look. Does he still work? Right. Then. So the trouble is we've sort of limited by the cutting these is gonna be fine. So let's try these here. have like a powder coat now you only started sparking after a while there you go so it's got quite a thick powder coat on it so you can dremel it should be quite easy to dremel these three but this bottom one is going to be quite a quite a problem to get the angle on there um so it might be a bit brutal but the other option is going to be for those bottom ones is the angle grinder let's see if i've been okay. again it's looking a bit brutal on the front right then so let's have a look but we don't want to maybe we should put a bit of masking tape or something on the bottom there let's have a look there we go All right then. <laughs> a knife through butter in it but but again you won't get that one in for those so right we are going to go and cut these here oh, it's a bit scary i don't want to do it on film i'll cut these these top ones and these bottom ones with the grinder and then we'll come back and we'll finish the other ones with the dremel right we've got most of that out and i'll just finish off these bits with the dremel right and we should I've got one more at the top there just to get out. Right, there we go. So we've got the majority of that out. But what we'll have to do, if you take a look in here now, Zach, is obviously you don't want to be reaching in to get the reset and lacerate in your hands. So we'll file those. But let me see if I can feel the, the, elusive, the elusive switch. Where is it? Right, so one thing you can do to make these a little less sharp and a bit neater is... If you get a grindstone on your Dremel, you can just... You probably could do with putting a little bit of black paint. Now, what was that other stuff people used? They said, let me grab it, it's in the cupboard. Right, someone said to me, you need to get this ACF50. They said it runs through God's veins, apparently, this stuff. Um, apparently, it's an anti-corrosive lubricant and everything. The motorbike guys love this stuff. So 
paint paint is one option yeah, I'm just gonna dab a bit of that on there before I stop it rusting right okay that all done right so we're ready to fit the grill so so this is the grill it's made from remind me Zach steel powder coated two millimeters thick two or three two, two right and then where's my clips I've got two of them here um, so you offer it up it comes the whole ah we were gonna say where's the switch weren't we Zach so the switch I'll put a picture online but it's where you've got this sort of mountain in the middle it's right at the corner of the mountain and I'm not sure which way is on and off let me work that out for you you can feel it right at the top but you've got to get in there it's it's still not that easy because you've got an, an air duct right by it yeah you can feel it right at the top and it hasn't got a it it's a rocker switch that goes this way or this way so I've got to work out is it tipping that way or tipping that way that's on so let's use the remote so if you grab the remote Zach right so at the moment Zach says we've got five bars visible so the winch must be on is that right so you can see five bars so let me feel which way that is that is rocking right so that is tilted that way so if I tilt it the other way has it gone off yeah yeah so you need to have it look from above Zach so people can see it needs to be tip the, the rocker switch needs to be tipped that way not that way so turn it back on again that's on now Zach it might take a second to yeah so that's how you reset the winch right let's put the cover back on I'm gonna I'm gonna watch that video myself one day Zach right then okay okay Right, and you would never know. Now, we've done the red, I think the red clips are good, A, because they look cool and you remind yourself you've got the thing, but we do also do them in black if you want a more subtle look. But that matches perfectly to the OE. You'd never know, would you, fair play to Zach, you, uh, you copied the mesh design, didn't you, Zach? Um, but that was perfect, so, right, that's part one. Right, now let's get on and do the winch hook mount right let's come around behind me zach let's take a look at the kit so the winch hook mount um we've got this bit here and that slides in now, it only slides in from one end doesn't it zach so it's, it's just the way we print them it's going to slide in like that and form and make sure that your bolt that we'll need later goes all the way through um this here this little hook here is going to hook over the back edge now with that assembled the hook is going to go on and we're going to put a circlip over here and that's going to hold the winch hook in place but what we've got to do is we've got to mark the location of this hole so we need to work out how we're going to do that i don't think that pencil is going to go through is it zach right so what we've got here is we've got this which is held on by this velcro and we're going to try and drill a hole in this middle plate here now obviously i've already done that because we've been driving but i'm going to show you how to do it so work out where the middle is left to right and then what you're going to do is you're going to hook this back edge here over this this edge line it up so you're in the middle you can see i've marked it here um, and then push down make sure your plastic is pushed back and then if you drill through this you'll drill through the plastic first and then you'll mark whoa you will then be in a position where you've marked the bit here. Now, you then have to drill this. Now, one top tip we've got for this, you don't want to damage your grill. So what you're going to do is you're going to put this ruler, steel ruler, if you can get one, behind here. And then when it breaks through, that will protect your, your grill, which is going under here. You've got quite a lot of room. You've got loads of room there, look. Um, so drill that out. Now you need to drill that out to about nine millimeters because you need to get, in the kit you'll get a riv nut. So then what you can do is you can insert the riv nut in there. I can leave the plastic bit behind if I like. Okay, so it's easier to put that on here. So this is gonna form a captive fixed nut. Now you could put some of that ACF, ACF 50 around here as well. 
Psh, stop it rusting. I should have done that before by the looks of it, though. Right. And we can put that through there. Okay. And then we can squeeze the rib nut. <laughs> right, microphone's back. Right. My microphone's right in the action there, blimey. Okay, so that should give us... There you go, that's given us a captive nut now. So we can take this out, take the masking tape off, and we're ready to fit, aren't we? So, take our masking tape off. Oh, you've got the Allen key there ready for me. Well, thank you, that. Right, so we should, but that should all now line up beautifully. That should go through there. That should find the hole. Oh, and that is tightening down now. And that is going to hold the plastic piece in and give us the mount ready for our hook. Right, so grab a circuit. Right, we're going to do these in red and black again. I think the red ones, because you're less likely to lose them and you can see it quickly. And they look cool. Right, and then now the... This little bird face, this little sort of beak is got here. If you look from the top of that, we've got a little beak. It looks like a little eye and a little beak. That is designed only to go one way, and that stops it rotating too much. Okay. Push that on. And then the safety feature to stop it popping off as you're driving is the red clip. So we're all ready. That's all good. If you've got any comments, let us know. But there you go. That is the way. Oh, no, Zach, I nearly forgot. Right, so one problem we had when we were doing this is we dropped the red bit, um, is that this was getting in the way of the front camera. So we designed this little clip in, oh, let me get the red one. Right, and um, we designed this little clip that you can, it's got like a double clip here. So Zach's designed it so you can squeeze here. We put that in there, okay. And then that can act as a little holder and wait, you just pull it out when you're ready, but that just stops it dangling in front of your camera. So there we go. We've got the blanking plate with the clips, the, cl the rope holder and the mount. So obviously we'll sell the rope holder and the mount as a kit and we'll sell the blanking piece as a kit. So Ben will get that photo on the website. Um, yeah, all good, good job.